house or is it the car I'll give them all to you is it the name or is it the fair I'm nothing without you what would I become of me if I didn't see your light what would have been said on me if you didn't hold my hand now I've come to realize that you are all I am. You are all the better. I'll put you in front, in front of my memory. You are all the better. I don't believe us in the house tonight. How? Make room for two, you and I, Jesus. Yes, you were all the night. You were all the night. Yes, Lord. Well, oh, my God is all the night. You are all the night, Jesus. Well, I wish I could have you sing it out. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, if it matters to you tonight, can you lift up those hands and speak in other tongues and blast in other tongues as you worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who made all things new, the one who made it possible for us to be here today, Jesus.
Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. I put you in front, in front of my melody. Yes, you are all the matters. I will make, I will make room, make room for joy. You and I, Jesus. You are all the matters. All the truth, you are all the matters. Hallelujah, glory be to Yes, our God is you are all the power of God is so heavy in the spirit. The spirit of the prophet. The spirit of the Lord is working on us. Now begin to talk to God. Now begin to tell him what you need. Open up your mouth and let him fill you. Out of the belly, out of the belly shall flow. Come and wave those hands to him. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you take the hope, God will go gain if you take your Holy Ghost. <laughs> what would have become of us? I love you, your worship tonight. Akabale Bozataya. We didn't come to get familiar with Jesus. We came to love him tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We welcome your destiny. Hallelujah. We welcome your Holy Spirit. Everybody sing it. Lekele Bozataya Galebosha. Yes, of the truth, we are all the matters. Yes, of the truth, we are all the matters. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We bow before your throne, O God. We say, you are all the matters. You are all. We say, you are all the matters. You are all. You are the breaking of our life. You are all. You are all our God is all that matters. Amen. Welcome, beloved, to another day of prayer. Hallelujah. I welcome you to another time in God's presence. Begin to appreciate Him. Thank you, Jesus, immortal, invisible, the holy wise God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. We glorify you, Lord. We adore you. Thank you for all you are doing. Thank you for another day. Thank you for another time. Thank you for another moment. Father, we'll bless you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy to be praised and adored. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Move in our life. We have gathered today in your presence to seek you, but not to seek any man. Father, we ask you, Lord, that you show, your first, show yourself in us. In the name of Jesus. Show yourself in us in this gathering of prayer. Father, we want to see you lifted up. Our Lord and our God, you have promised that you make a way where there seems to be no way. Lord, we are waiting on you, O oh God. Make a way where there seems to be no way. In, in this hour of prayer, show forth. Move like never before. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, we have prayed and the church says amen. Still in the attitude of worship, let's sing another song. Life. God has done it for This us. is not high life music. Yes, this is Lord. the highest life music. The highest life music. The Zoe life. Our own is highest life music. It's the highest life music. Eternal life is the highest life. Hallelujah. Man, are we ready? Are we ready? Don't be 
so that you could he has done it for me so that you could it is Jehovah so that you could so that you could he has done it for me is that your testimony listen even before I pray Jehovah needs he answered me so that you could he has done it for me he has taken away my fears and given me peace of my day. So that you could see the way he answered me. So that you could, so that you could, so that you could, he has done it See the way he lifted me. So that you could. Oh, yeah, girl. He, he, so that you could, he has done for me. Let the trumpet play. When I was worried and couldn't sleep, he was walking behind the scene. Oh. He has taken away the pain and given me joy and victory. already your position for you and me hallelujah welcome you to um to redeem evangelical church of christ where god does wonders hallelujah why don't you begin to appreciate god our topic for today's prayer is my efforts you must no longer be wasted hallelujah we want to command those efforts of yours and say my efforts i command you never be wasted never be wasted never be wasted are you getting it 
Somebody needs to command that effort. Say my effort. You must no longer be wasted in the name of Jesus. May our efforts not be wasted in Jesus' name. I pray again, may our efforts not be wasted in life in the name of Jesus. What does it mean for efforts to be wasted? Doing some things and expecting to get a result, and the result of that thing is not forthcoming. Such a life is a wasted life. I pray our efforts will never be wasted in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, beloved. Say, my Lord, my Father, do not let my efforts to be wasted. Do not let my efforts to be wasted. Do not let my efforts to be wasted in the name of Jesus. I want us to declare it as you mean it. Henceforth, my life and my efforts must produce greater results in the name of Jesus. That is our prayer point for today. And I want us to begin to pray it. Father, in the name of Jesus, let my efforts bring greater results. Let my efforts bring greater results. Yes, yes, yes. Command those efforts of yours. Yes, it must bring results for you. My efforts must bring me results. My efforts must bring me results. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray that prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let my efforts bring me greater results. Let my efforts bring me greater results. Greater results in life. Greater results in life. Greater results in life. Greater results in life. In the name of Jesus. My efforts, I command you, bring me results in life. My efforts, I command you, bring me results in life. In the name of Jesus. My efforts, bring me results in life. In Jesus' mighty name. Beloved, I want us to pray that prayer. As you many say, my efforts, I command you, you must be productive in life. Pray that prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. Cause my efforts to be productive. Whatever I lay my hands on must prosper. That is our prayer. That is simple what it means. Anything I lay my hands on, it must prosper. The Lord will bless the works of my hand. Bless the works of my hands. Bless the works of my hands. Bless the works of my hand. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray that prayer. Yes, yes, yes. Oh Lord, bless the work of my hand. In the name of Jesus. Bless the work of my hand. In the name of Jesus. My efforts bring results. My efforts bring the results. In the name of Jesus. I want us to declare it. In the name of Jesus. Our the words of our answer must be blessed. The words of our answer must be blessed. The words of our answer must be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Declare it as you mean it. Declare it as you mean it. Declare it as you mean it. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, bless the works of my hand. Bless the works of my hand. Bless the works of my hand. My efforts bring forth good results in Jesus' mighty name. That is our prayer point this Wednesday. And I want us to be focused on to it. I want us to declare over that effort. My efforts from now on, I call you forth from where you may be. Bring forth results. Bring forth result. 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 In the name of Jesus. My effort bring forth good results. In the name of Jesus. You must not be wasted. Somebody pray that prayer. The Bible says, I will bless the works of your hands. Somebody understand. That is the word of the Lord. I will bless the works of your hand. Can you declare from now on, my God will bless the works of my hands. In the name of Jesus, in my God will bless the works of my hand. In the name of Jesus, the works of my hands are no longer be wasted. In the name of Jesus, raise that prayer up. Say, Holy Spirit, bless the works of my hand. 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 In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. When you look, and look at Deuteronomy 28 from verse number 8, he said, The Lord, Deuteronomy 28 from verse 8, he said, The Lord will send a blessing on your bands and on everything you put your hands to. That is our prayer this afternoon. The works of my hands will be blessed. The works of my hand will be blessed. The works of my hand will be blessed. In the name of Jesus. The works of my hand will be blessed. In the name of Jesus. The works of my hand will be blessed. Somebody declare it. The works of my hand will be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. The works of my hand will be blessed. In the name of Jesus. I want us to declare it. Oh Lord, cause your heaven to open for the works of my hand. In the name of Jesus. Cause your heaven to open on the works of my hand. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, bless me uniquely. Oh Lord, bless me uniquely. 
Oh Lord, bless me uniquely. Oh Lord, bless me uniquely. Let the words of my hand be blessed. In the name of Jesus, I command the heavens to open on the works of my hand. I command the heavenly results. Oh Lord, I set my hands to do. In the name of Jesus, beloved, pray this afternoon. Yes, yes, yes. My life and my efforts produce greater results in Jesus' name. My, my life and my efforts. And sort my life and my efforts. You must produce greater results in the name of Jesus. My life and my efforts begin to produce greater results in Jesus' mighty name. Let's take a look at Deuteronomy 15, verse number 10. Hallelujah. If you look at that, Deuteronomy 28, verse 8, say the Lord will command a blessing on you in your barns, that is your storehouses, and in all that you all that take, God will bless it. I want us to raise that hand up to heaven and say, Holy Spirit, bless me indeed. Holy Spirit, bless me indeed. Holy Spirit, bless me indeed. The Bible says the Lord will come and blessing on us in the bands, in our bands, and in all that we undertake. Every work of our hand shall be blessed. We look unto God, the ancient of days, the mighty man in battle. Bless everything we, we put our hands into, everything we undertake. It is the word of God. He said the Lord will come and bless us in all that you undertake. Whatever you put your hands into, it shall be productive, and they will bless you in the land that the Lord is giving to you. Raise that hand up to heaven. The land that God is taking me to, I shall be blessed there. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' mighty name. I want us to open up our Bible to Leviticus 26 verse 10. Leviticus 26 verse 10. He said, you shall heat old store long enough and you shall eat old store long kept and you shall clear out the old to make way for the new. Look at it. Oh my God. That God even, God even does talk taking. He said, you shall eat old store long kept. Yes. And now you shall clear out the old to make way for the new. Hallelujah. You shall not be stuck. I shall not be stuck on the old. Somebody pray, I shall not be stuck on the old. 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 In the name of Jesus, I want us to declare, if in fact you say, I shall not be stuck on the old. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be stuck on the old. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be stuck on the old. In the name of Jesus, he says, I will clear out the old to make way for the new. I will clear out the old to make way for the new. According to Leviticus 26 verse 10, you shall clear out the old and make way for the new. The Lord will renew me. All old shall be taken away. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you look at Proverbs 3 verses 9 to 10, Proverbs 3 verses 9 to 10, it says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then our barns will be filled with plenty and our vats shall be bursting with wine. So I'm saying, whatever we put our hands into, God is ready to bless it. Hallelujah. Look at Psalm 133 verse 3. Psalm 133 verse 3. He said, it is like the blessing of God is like the dew of Ammon. The blessing of God is like the dew of Ammon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there God has commanded the blessings, life forevermore. Wow, wow, wow. There God has commanded the blessing forevermore. I declare we are blessed. 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 In the name of Jesus, beloved, let's remove anxiety. Our life, our efforts from now on, the hand of God is upon us. It shall bring for good results. From now on, the hand of God is upon us. It shall bring for good results. Look at Matthew 6, verse 26. Every of our anxiety, the Lord will take it away. Look at Matthew 6, verse 26. It says, look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands, and yet our heavenly father feeds them are we no more value than they ay, ay, ay. matthew 6 26 jesus speaking to his disciples he said look at the birds of the hair they neither sow nor reap nor gather into the bands 
and yet your heavenly father feet stand are you not more value a day ah yeah yeah from now on our life and efforts must bring greater results in the name of jesus somebody command the heaven to release his blessing upon us father in the name of jesus release your blessing release your blessing on the works of our hands in the name of jesus in our businesses in over our family release your blessings release your blessings release your blessings release your blessing release your blessing in the name of jesus release your blessing in the name of jesus in Jesus' mighty name, I want us to open to Leviticus 26, verses 4 to 5. Leviticus 26, verses 4 to 5. It says, I will give you rains in your season. Wow, that is a powerful promise. The Lord is promising to give us rain in our season. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. That means the season of rain that shall not be drought. What does rain mean? Rain means, means a wet ground. Rain, rain means provision. Rain means blessing. Hear me very well. You shall not be eating the morning food in the night. Oh my God, somebody understand this. Yo, I will give rain in your season. Whenever we are hungry, the rain is there for us. The rain will not fail its season. You know, there's a, there's a season for everything. There is a dry season, there is a wet season. And every season is useful. Because without the rain, no crop can germinate. No matter the irrigation you do, that is only artificial. The rain of the rain from effort as its nutrients. Do and look and look at people that study agriculture. Do every irrigation, it is only artificial. It can only bring artificial things. But the rain from heaven is what is different. The rain from heaven is different. The rain from heaven has its own value. Bible says, I accord God is promising children of Israel. He says, I will give you rain in your season. That is in the season of our need, it will be there for us. And our land shall yield its increase. Can I hear an amen to that? My land shall yield its increase. And the trees of the field shall yield its fruit. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. The trees of the field shall yield its fruit. It says our threshing shall last to the time of the grape harvest. Oh, hear me very well. I want to break that one down. Our blessing shall last. Our threshing shall last to the time of the grape harvest. That means you will never be in lack. When our threshing, what you have threshed last year, you will still be using it till the grain harvest of the new year. You don't understand that. I hope you can get it. Your threshing, according to Leviticus 26, verse 4 to 5, our threshing shall last to the time of the grape harvest. Hallelujah. And the grape harvest shall last to the time of the sowing. God is just awesome. He says, what you trash, you know, they trash, they trash the grape. You know, as you, you gather grapes, you trash it to store, to extract the, the wine from it. Then now wait, you have for now, extract the juice from it. Then you now wait for it to ferment, to get into wine. It is a fermentation of that food that brings wine. God is telling you, sir, says your threshing of last year, hear me, shall last to the time of the grape harvest. And your, and your grape harvest, shall last to the time of your sowing. So by the time you harvest the grape, till the time you sow, you know, you have to give the land some some, some time to rest. At times three months, at times one month to rest. Say that grape that you harvest, it will last to the time of your sowing. And as you sow, it will last to the time of your reaping. God is saying that, but there shall be never be a time that we lack. Somebody say, I will not lack. Somebody say, I will not lack. Our life and efforts will produce greater results in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at Leviticus 25, verse number 21. They say, I will, the Lord says, Leviticus 25, 21. He says, I will command my blessing on you in the sixth year so that it will produce crop sufficient for three years. Ay, ay, ay. Can you hear that? I will command my blessing on you in the sixth year. It will produce crop that is sufficient for three years. Somebody say, from now on, lack is not my portion again. In the name of Jesus, really pray that prayer henceforth. My life, my efforts produce greater results. Produce greater results. Produce greater results. Produce greater results. Result. My efforts will not, must not be wasted. Over my children, no wasted effort. Over my life, no wasted effort. Over my over the our ministry, no wasted effort. The Lord will crown our efforts with success in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, we crown our efforts with success. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Look at Luke 12, verse 24 to 25. Luke 12, verse 24 to 25. He said, consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap. They neither, they neither have storehouses nor barn. And yet God feeds them. Are, are, are we not more of how much value are you than the birds? Hallelujah. Of which of you, being anxious, can add a single hour to the span of our life? Thus, that tells us that God is watching over us. Hallelujah. To fulfill his word in the name of Jesus. He is watching over us to fulfill his word. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. This afternoon, this prayer will not be long. It will be for you to go and pray yourself. This prayer will not be long this afternoon. But I have good news for you. For I know God will touch us anew. Our efforts will never be wasted in the name of Jesus. Whatever at cost wastages, the hand of God will be over our life. He will bring forth, give us good results in the name of Jesus. That shall be answered to every prayer of our life in the name of Jesus. When you consider roots, you can see root one, verse number six. Hear what he says. They arose with and she arose with her daughters in law that she may return from the country of Moab. For she have heard in the country of Moab that the Lord has visited his people by giving them bread. Can you imagine? She lived, she went into a wasted effort. Ruth and her husband, Ahimelech, they went and her effort was wasted. And she, the Bible says in that verse number six, Ruth 1 verse 6, that she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab. For she has heard in the country of Mark that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Can you imagine? Our journey was wasted. I pray to God in heaven. My journey, your journey will never be wasted in life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody declare it. Our journey will never be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Somebody declare it. Our journey will never be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Our life must produce results. Our life must produce results. Our life must produce results. In the name of Jesus. Command it, command it, command it. Say, my life, if refer to that shape, bring forth good results. In the name of Jesus. All my life, my efforts produce greater results. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Look at the, we are reading the book of Job. Look at the book of Job. Job 10 verse 12. Hear what happened there. Job said, you have granted me life and favor, and your care has preserved my spirit. I pray from now on, we will experience the life and favor of God. Job said to God, you have granted me life and favor. From now, may we enjoy the life and favor of God in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I will enjoy the life and favor of God. I will enjoy the life and favor of God in the name of Jesus on all sides. I will enjoy the life and favor of God. Wherever I go, I will see the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Beloved, who are we that God is mindful of us? That was what David said in Psalm number 8, verse number 4. Psalm number 8, verse 4. He said, who are you? Is thou man that you are mindful of him? God is mindful of you. He is mindful of us. So from now on, there shall be no wastages in our life again. Yeah, Ruth, I mean, Naomi went with, with her husband, she lived the, their, their journey was wasted. She lost the husband, she lost the two sons. Hear me very well, that shall not be our portion. Our journey in life will never be wasted. Hear what David said, he knows God is mindful of us. He said, what is man, Psalm 8 verse 4, that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit me, visit him. God is visiting us today. He's changing our story for better. He's changing our story for better. As you have connected on this Wednesday hour, it shall be a connection for grace. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody say a connection for grace. Grace will announce us. Grace will announce us. I say grace will announce us on all sides. Grace will announce us on all sides. In the name of Jesus. The hand of God is with us in the name of Jesus. The Lord will not forsake us. The Lord will not forsake us. Hear what David said in Psalm number 38, verses 21 to 22. The Lord will say, do not forsake me, O God. 
be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Psalm number 38, verse 21 to 22. God will not forsake us. He will make us to help us. No more wastages. Our efforts shall bring for good results. Over our life, over our children, over our work, over our ministry. We will not work for others to eat. Somebody say amen at your minute. I will not work for others to, to eat. The Lord will bless me. The Lord will cause me to be fruitful. The Lord will cause me to be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, according to the word of God, he put a new song in our mouth. Somebody say a new song in our mouth. In the name of Jesus. David said in Psalm 40, verses 1 to 3, he said, I wish them patiently on the Lord. Psalm number 40, verses 1 to 3. David said, I raised I waited patiently on the Lord. He inclined to me, he heard my cry. As we wait on the Lord on the Wednesday like this, and every day of our life, he will hear to us, he will incline to us, he will hear our cry. According to Psalm 40, verses 1 to 3, he also brought me out of a horrible pit and set my feet upon a rock and established my step. He had me very well. He said he has put a new song in my mouth. Praise the Lord. Many will see it and many will fear and will trust in the Lord. Somebody say so, as David has declared. He said, I waited patiently. He was almost running out of waiting, but God came in the end. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me. He heard our cry. Also brought us out of the horrible pit, out of the mire clay, and set our feet upon the rock. Father, we thank you. Then put a new song. Can you see? Brought us from the mire clay, set our feet upon the rock, then put a new song into our mouth. Hallelujah. The song that many will see, and they will fear God, and they will trust in him. That shall be our portion in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless us. The Lord will bless us. The Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord has said it. It has established it. And so shall it be. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to open to, I want to open to Psalm 41, verses 9 to 10, verses, verses 1. Psalm 41, verse 1. Hallelujah. He said, Blessed. He said, who, con who consider the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Not only that, blessed is he that considers the poor, the Lord will deliver in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and they will be blessed on the earth. He will not deliver him to the will of the enemy. The Lord will strengthen him even on the bed of illness. He will sustain him on the sick bed. Hallelujah. That is the blessing for those that the Lord has loved. I pray that will be our portion in the name of Jesus. God will love us. God will do mighty things in our life in the name of Jesus. I am believing God. God that is that has promised he will never fail. Hallelujah. He promised the children of Israel. He was there for them. As he promised us, he will not fail us. He me very well. From now, our efforts begin to bring for good results. He me very well. David was speaking. He was praying. Is in Psalm number 44, starting from verses 1 to 4. Ay, 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 ay. I'm excited for I know our life is changing. Psalm 44 from verse 1 to 4. It says, we have heard our God. David bringing God say, Lord, we have heard. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our Father has told us the deeds you did in their days, in the days of old. You drove out nations from their hand, from their with your hand. You drove out you drove out nations with your hand. And yes, and but them you planted, you afflicted the people, cast them out, for they did not gain possession of the land by their sword, nor their their harm saved them. But it was your right hand, your harm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. Ah, can you hear that? That favor is speaking for us. That favor is speaking for us. That favor is speaking for us. He said they did not gain the land that they possessed with their power. No, God drove them out. God, yeah, I love, I love this. He said, you have heard of your story. Hear me? Psalm 44, verse 1 to 4. He says, we have heard with our ears, O oh God. Our Father told us what you did. Beloved, I'm telling you, God will never fail us. He will not fail us. We have be heard of how God lifted his own people. We shall be among those that God will lift. He said, we have heard, our fathers have told us. We have read from the word of God that we serve a God who will never fail. We have read from his word. 
And we have seen our fathers have told us that God of God is far this valley forever. The Bible tells us the world may pass away, but the word of God will not go without fulfilling that which the Lord has, has, has promised to it for it to fulfill. The Lord said, I honor my word by my name. Hallelujah. I exalt my word by my name, that my name. So what we are hearing is not just story, it's a fact. David said, we have heard it according to his Psalm 44 verse 1. We have heard it with our ears. Our fathers told us that this God did in the days of old. You drove out nations with your hand, but the, our fathers, you planted them. You afflicted the people, cast them out. Our, our fathers did not gain possession by the, of the land by the sword. Nor did their own, but not did their own arm save them. But it was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your consonants that you favor them. As we go out this month, as we can begin to walk each day, as we begin to watch each year, the Lord will walk over us. The, the Lord will walk with us. He will favor us. He will walk with us in the name of Jesus. He will favor us in the name of Jesus. He will walk with us. He will take us on greater journeys. We will step over stones. Nothing will harm us in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, that is God speaking to me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm number 62, verse 5. He said, my soul, wait thou upon the Lord, for our expectation is from him. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Our soul will wait on the Lord. Our expectation shall be from him in the name of Jesus. Look at Psalm 23 verse 18 say surely there is an hereafter and our expectation shall not be cut off somebody believe it I don't know what you are expecting God to do he will do it for us as we connect on this Wednesday of prayer he will show forth he will show forth he will show forth he will show forth in the name of Jesus we have come to the place of prayer and we will continue on this the afternoon with our children so we have come to the place of prayer i want also to begin to declare say father let my gift make way for me we are speaking about our our what our life and effort must produce greater results what god what you need for life god has deposited deposited it in our hands oh somebody did not hear that what we need for life god has deposited in our life in our hand Hear me, there was a man in the Bible, he's called Aholiab. He's called Aholiab. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. He, he, he was so gifted, but he thought God has forgotten him. Ah, yeah, yeah. But when God commanded Moses, is there are, there, there are two of them. One is called Bezalel, one is called Alo Aholiab. Hear me, they thought God had forgotten them. But God said, I did not forget them. When God asked Moses, go and build me an ark of covenant, he said, go and look for Bezalel and a whole year because I have blessed them. I have taught them on what they will do. As you are listening to me, that gift in your life, it will make room for us in the name of Jesus. Hear me very well. God, look at that. Exodus 31, verses 1 to 6. God personally appointed Bezalel and a whole year. He said, I have called them by name. I have put, I hear somebody understand, Exodus 31, verses 1 to 6. God said, I have put wisdom into their life. I pray that which God wants you to do, he will put it into our life in the name of Jesus. Exodus 31, Exodus 31, verses 1 to 6. I want us to pray that prayer. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hor." Of the tribe of Judah, and are filled him with the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, in all manner of workmanship, to design artistic work, to work in gold and silver, in bronze, in cutting jewels for setting, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of workmanship. And I, indeed, I have appointed with him a holy up, the son of Isaac, of the tribe of Dan. I have put wisdom in the hearts of all the gifted artisans that they may make all that have commanded you. Look at Bezalel and Aholab. They did not know God has got plans for them. They may also be saying, God, what is it? My work is not moving. Ah, and demanded. God said, I recognize because I have gifted them. 
I have gifted them gifts that no other person had. Beloved, God gave them gifts that no other person have. I pray to God in heaven for you and I mean that gift that seems silent in our life we begin to speak. Somebody say amen. Our gift will speak. Our gift will speak in the name of Jesus. Somebody say our gift will speak in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. Say God you are spoken concerning me. I will manifest in life. Somebody pray that prayer. If in fact you say manifest in life. Manifest in life, manifest in life, manifest in life, manifest in life. Somebody needs to declare that word. If in fact you say you must manifest, you must manifest, you must manifest. Your time has come to show forth in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. I will manifest in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Every negative covenant against my success, I renounce you in the name of Jesus. Every evil vow, every negative covenant against our success, we renounce you. We renounce you. Are you praying, beloved? Every negative covenant against our success, we renounce it in the name of Jesus. We renounce it in the name of Jesus. Every negative arrow against our success, we renounce it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless the works of our hands in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Raise your hands up to heaven. Whatever I lay this hands on shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Whatever I lay this hands on shall prosper. The Lord will bless the works of our hands. The Lord will bless the works of our hands. The Lord will bless the works of our hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He will bless us. In Jesus' mighty name. You spirit of um, I want us to pray. Whatever the spirit that is that is plaguing our efforts. Whatever the power that is plaguing our efforts. That does not allow our efforts to show. Today the Lord will destroy it. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of unfruitfulness, every spirit of unfruitfulness, every spirit of wasting of effort, the Lord will destroy it today. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will destroy it today. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will destroy it today. He told the Israelites, he said, your threshing will last till the harvest of new grape. Can you see that? I pray, I pray, I pray. Whatever is called unfruitfulness is destroyed in our life, in our family. Unfruitfulness is destroyed. Somebody declare unfruitfulness is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Unfruitfulness is destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Raise your hands up to heaven. Say every seed of process of, 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 of of success in my life. Oh God, water it, oh God. My seed of success, my seed of success. You shall be watered. 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 Yes, yes, yes. I, my wife, my children, we shall be successful in life. In the name of Jesus. I, my life, my, my, my wife, my children, my ministry. We shall be successful in life. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Lord will water us. 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 In the name of Jesus. Our life must bring good results. Our efforts must not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Efforts of our children. Efforts of our family. Efforts of our spouse. Efforts of effort of our ministry. You shall not be wasted. We shall not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will show us for good. Somebody say, oh God, show me for good. Yes, 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 yes. Show me for good. He will show us up for good. In the name of Jesus, nations will bow before us. I will pray in that prayer. Oh Lord, my Father, let nations bow before me. 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 Let nations bow before us. Let nations bow before us. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, let nations bow before us. In Jesus' mighty name, I want us to declare. Say, Lord, our God will lose the loins of kings for our destiny. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, lose the loins of kings to our destiny. Lose the loins of kings to our destiny. Lose the loins of kings to our destiny. Yes, yes, yes. Let us subdue nations for us. Subdue nations for us. Subdue nations for us. No, subdue nations for us. Lose the loins of kings for us. In the name of Jesus, open to us treasures of darkness. Open to us treasures of darkness in the land of the living. We declare, oh God, treasures of darkness that will make our, our efforts 
to show forth the Lord will open for us in the name of Jesus. Treasures of darkness shall open for us in the name of Jesus. He did riches of secret places shall be open to us. He did riches of secret places shall be open to us in the name of Jesus. He did riches of secret places shall be open to us in the name of Jesus. Come on, the pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. The Lord will establish your success. He will establish my success. He will establish our success in the name of Jesus. Father, establish us in success. Establish us in success in the name of Jesus. Let our efforts have resounding success in life in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, yes, yes. Crown our efforts with success. Let our efforts have resounding success in the name of Jesus. Let our efforts have resounding success in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, enlarge us. Somebody pray that prayer. Don't be quiet. My father, my father, enlarge us. 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 Bring our destiny to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. And like us, Father, and like us, Father, bring our destiny to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Every altar raised against our, our success in life be shattered, be shattered, be shattered in the name of Jesus. Every negative altar raised against our success in life we shatter you, we shatter you, we shatter you. We call the fire of the Holy Ghost on every negative altar against our success in the name of Jesus. Somebody did declare i am going i am i am going i am i am going i am begin to declare we are going i am we are going higher in the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall us. We are going higher. We are stepping forward. We are going higher. We are moving forward. We are going higher. We are moving forward in the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall us in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Our inheritance is in the Lord shall never be destroyed. It shall not be stolen. Our inheritance is in the Lord because the Lord has blessed the work of our hand. It shall never be destroyed. It shall never be taken away. In the name of Jesus, our life will command you. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Somebody command your life. It shall be fruitful. Shall be fruitful. Shall be fruitful. The Bible says you will take off the old. We take out the old and replenish with new. We had it before. We will remove the old. It shall be replenished with new. Somebody said the word of God is speaking to me. The old shall be taken away. The new shall be shall be because I come for it in the name of Jesus. Somebody said the old shall be taken away. Leviticus 26 verse 10. He said you shall eat old stuff. 10 B says you shall clear out the old to make way for the new. Leviticus 26 verse 10 B. You shall clear out the old to make way for the new. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bless us with fruitfulness. Can I hear an amen to that? The Lord will bless us with fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, we shall not be barren. We shall not be barren. Every stronghold of barrenness shall be destroyed completely. In the name of Jesus, we shall have new things to show forth. In. So I can hear somebody praying. We shall have new things to show forth. We shall have new things to show forth. In the name of Jesus, our life shall go forward. Our ministry shall go forward our children shall go forward in the name of Jesus there will be verifiable results for our efforts somebody pray that prayer say our efforts there shall be verifiable results for it in the name of Jesus there shall be verifiable results for our efforts there shall be verifiable results for our efforts our ministry shall not be wasted we are going forward in our life we are going forward our family is going forward my wife, my children are going forward. Our ministry is going forward in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. The good blessings of God, the Lord will command it on us. Can I hear an amen? As you are receiving, amen means an agreement to it. The new blessings of God, the Lord will command it. He will command blessings on our life in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. From now on, if we will bring forth. Somebody say, I will bring forth. Somebody say, I will bring forth. From now on, we shall bring forth. We shall not be barren. In the name of Jesus, the blessings that generate results, the blessings that generate results, the blessing that bring forth fruits, we receive it in the name of Jesus. The blessing that generate results, the blessing that bring forth good fruits, we receive it in the name of Jesus. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Blessing that bring forth good fruits, blessing that generate results, in the name of Jesus, we receive it. The Lord will command fruitfulness into our life into our portion, into our land, into our ministry, into our family, into our children's life. He will command fruitfulness. He will command fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. 
when people are counting their blessings, myself and yourself, we shall not be left out. Somebody say amen to that. When people are counting their blessings, we shall not be left out. We shall not be left out. In the name of Jesus, our efforts will not fail. In the name of Jesus, our efforts will not fail. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will help us. We are all that are failing. We shall be rising up. Where others are sitting, we shall be standing. Where others are standing, we shall be outstanding. In the name of Jesus, where efforts are failing, we shall be rising up. In the name of Jesus, if in fact you put your name there, say we shall succeed. Somebody say, my name, my father, my, my name, my children, my family, our ministry, begin to succeed. Begin to succeed. If in fact you shall insert your name, I shall succeed. My children, you shall succeed. My wife, you shall succeed. My family, you shall succeed. If you shall succeed. My family, you shall succeed. The track ministry, we shall succeed. She no ministry, we shall succeed. The Lord will surprise us. The Lord will surprise us. Holy Spirit, surprise us. This month of, of June, oh Lord, surprise us. In the name of Jesus, anointing for fruitfulness. Yes, yes, and come unto us. Yes, yes, over, overshadow us. Anointing for fruitfulness, overshadow us. Obstacles are destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Who are down mountain before Zerubbabel that shall be made low in the name of Jesus? Mountains will fall for our sake. Mantis will fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. I say mantis will fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. The whole world will see us and they will glorify our God in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody begin to command power for prayerfulness. Come, come, come inside of me. Power for proofiness. I receive you in the name of Jesus. I shall multiply. I shall grow in the name of Jesus. Our businesses shall grow. Our ministries shall grow. Power for fruitfulness. Come into us in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. We shall be fruitful on all good sides in the name of Jesus. We shall be fruitful on all good sides in the name of Jesus. We shall be fruitful on all good sides. Yes, yes, yes. Power of dominion. We will dominate in the name of Jesus. The powers be given to us to dominate. Yes, yes. We will have dominion everywhere we go in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. We shall be fruitful in life in the name of Jesus. Nothing will take our joy away. It is our turn. Yes, 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 to be fruitful in life. It is our turn. The Bible says the set time has come. It is our time to be lifted. The Lord will change our name. It will upgrade us in the name of Jesus. Our name shall be called blessing in the name of Jesus. And we shall no more be called forsaken. Our land shall no more be called desolate. We shall be called Efsiba. And our land shall be called Beulah. We shall be called Efsiba. Our land shall be called Beulah. We shall be called Efsiba. Our land shall be called Beulah. The law will change, will change our name from scarcity. It shall change our name to many. I shall change our name to abundance in the name of Jesus. Somebody cry abundance, abundance, abundance of favor, abundance of lifting, abundance of joy, abundance of happiness, abundance of greater things in the name of Jesus. Abundance, abundance. Our name shall be called abundance. The Lord will make the works of our hand to prosper in the name of Jesus. The seed of God in our life we begin to manifest our seed, the seed of God in our life will not die. Thank you, our Father. In every area of our life, we shall be fruitful. Somebody say, I shall be fruitful. Somebody say, I shall be fruitful. So shall it be. So shall it be. I command fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Nothing will cut short our life. Our life will never be cut short. We will not cast our fruits young. We will not die young. We will not bury our children. Our parents will not bury us. We shall live. We shall live. We shall live. We shall not die, but live to declare the glory of God. Our children's goodness shall, we shall witness our children's goodness and happy days in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Our parents shall further and shall furthermore witness our good, happy, and good days in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Sickness is not our portion. The Lord will favor us. The Lord will, the Lord will, will tabernacle with us. However, we turn so we see the hand of God. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. We have prayed, and the church of God says, Amen, Amen, and Amen. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. He will make his face to shine upon us. That's a powerful time. I want us to soak yourself in that prayer. Prayer, only prayer works. Only prayer works. 
beloved, we cannot live our life for Satan to, to penetrate into it. Beloved, this life is governed with the spiritual more than the physical. Let me repeat myself. This life is governed with the spiritual more than the physical. What we, what we are seeing is, is a, a minute thing compared to what is happening in the world. If God should open our eyes to see that this world is full of evil and wicked spirits, beloved, we will pray more. If God should open our eyes, but many of us that are privileged to see visions, you would see some things, you'll be amazed. As we are reading the book of Job, when God was talking about Leviathan, the spirit in the water, in the water, the greater, the greater spirit that is, the, the Bible says, that arrows are like straw. You know what is called a straw? A, a, a wheat to eat. The scales are covered to cover. No here can penetrate Leviathan and it's operating in this world. If you read, if you read, Job from 40 or 38 upwards, you would see that this world is full. What we can see is so, is so minute to what is operating. So the only thing that can keep us above is prayer. And I pray that prayer will work for us in the name of Jesus. We will not fall for the enemy to mock. We will not fall for the enemy to mock in the name of Jesus. Hear me? From now, our life and our efforts will begin to command good results in Jesus' mighty name. Ah, I pray, I pray. Some people died trying, trying, trying. They tried, they died trying, making efforts. They did not survive. I, I can remember when I, where, where I was living before. This people, this young man was building, was digging a well, and the well collapsed on him. I, I still feel it today. Though they brought him out, though they brought him out, but. Till I left Nigeria, it wasn't the same person again. You can imagine in that well, and the well collapsed. Before they could bring him out, he was, he was almost gone. And, and they say that it has happened like that, that it will bury them. Look at the mine that collapsed on some, on some people many years ago, that they were buried there. So Some people in the struggle to make it in life, in the struggle to make it in life, they lost their life. That will not be your portion. So your efforts in life, God will crown it with success. When I remember those things about that man, it touches me every time I remember it. He was trying to make it in life. He was trying to survive. But your efforts and my efforts, it will produce good results. It will produce great results in the name of Jesus. I love you. I appreciate you. By the grace of God, we will still meet at 3 o'clock. I pray nothing changes it. We'll meet at three o'clock to pray for our children. The Lord bless you. Let's share the grace of fellowship. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you that are connected in this hour. It's an hour of prayer, and prayer will work for us in the name of Jesus. Hopefully, we'll meet at 3 p.m. for our children. Let's share the grace of fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. I will see you at 3 p.m. Have a wonderful afternoon.